I am here in St. Joseph, Missouri, about an hour north of Kansas City for a bite of authentic, and I mean certifiable authentic Neapolitan pie here at Il Lazzarone. Come on in. Okay, so first off, the oven. This is kind of the centerpiece of the entire operation. Absolutely. So, so our oven is built by hand by Mario Acunto. Uh, Mario's out of Naples, Italy. And this is actually the first one um, I'm told that's been imported in the United States. Wow. So this is a fifth generation oven builder. He's 80 years old. Built it by hand from the soil of the base of Mount Vesuvius. So he actually hand casts all the bricks inside of this. Manufactured it for us and I've, I've had probably about a dozen pizza ovens in my life. Nothing like this. This is incredible piece of machinery. It uh, takes 10 days to heat up. You know, when we get running, it's about a thousand degrees it runs at. It's, it's really, it's only built for Neapolitan pizza. That's all it's for. So this is the best of the best you can get. The textures are so completely different from what Americans think of as pizza. Absolutely, we get a lot of, sir, you burnt my pizza. And I, I say, <laughs> ma'am, I, I spent $30,000 for that char. <laughs> So I spent years making New York style pizza and love New York style pizza. Uh, there needs to be more in the Midwest, but this was so near to my heart and you know, I was, I was addicted. I thought, well, maybe turn this into a business. Went on a leave of absence at my job. Didn't know Your how real it worked. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was an exercise physiologist at a hospital and I took a little leave of absence, opened up and it's been crazy ever since. So we're in St. Joe, but you Absolutely. also have another location in Kansas City. Yep. Why did you decide to open up here in St. Joseph? Well, I tell you what, coming from New York to St. Joseph was a very big culture shock for me, uh, especially pizza wise, but um, you know, food in general. Came out here and there's four or five owner operated restaurants, many, many chain restaurants. And the passion just wasn't there and it, it really saddened me. Um, you know, I, I don't want to have to drive to Kansas City to have a, a decent meal. So we thought, well, let's do something different. Let's be the first certified Neapolitan, you know, almost in the Midwest, but certainly in Missouri, Kansas, all these surrounding states. Let's let's do something for St. Joe. So we, we went from there. We've talked about just kind of how simple everything is, and that really is the key to a true Neapolitan style pizza. Absolutely. Four ingredients in the dough, that's it. We bring all our flour over from Naples. It's uh, all double O caputo, and they've been milling it there since 1924. Very stringent process, so we use that. Water, Mediterranean sea salt, and fresh cake yeast, that's it. And that's the magic of it, is that it's a very different dough. When you cook at such a high temperature, you get this pliability that you would get with anything else. So an oven like that, its ability to have so much intense heat allows for it to cook very quickly and be completely done, but yet still very soft and chewy. When you say quickly, I mean, we're talking like seconds. 37 seconds. Oh my God. So consistently. You mentioned that you're certified. Sure. Who certifies you? What does that mean? What do you so have to do? So in, in Naples, you know, they, they get very... Uh, it's Italy. Everything uh, is certified. Get, they get very passionate, a little bit offended about people saying, hey, we're Neapolitan. A couple decades ago, they got together and they said, let's define Neapolitan pizza. Let's make you get a license for it when you want to open in business. So the Vera Pizza Neapolitanus Association came together. It's a part of the Agriculture Department of Naples and you have to uh, follow their 56 page law book. What, seriously? Yes, they fly <laughs> over, they inspect, and then you're certified. Wow. So we're, we're number, I believe, 506 in the world. So most are in Naples. I mean, there's like 375 in Naples. So why was it important for you? Because the average person coming off the street isn't necessarily gonna understand what that means. Absolutely, so. absolutely. I'm just passionate about the historical value, the, the you know preservation of a, a food product that's been around for so long. They invented pizza. It's the first pizza there is. You know, it's just preserving a piece of time where something was simple, pure, natural, and you know, creating it exactly the same way that they would then. Okay, so show me how you make these pizzas. All right, we do everything by hand, and that's, you know, by law, of course. So we're just manipulating the air from the center to the rim, so we have a nice rise in the crust. 
This is a four ounce fresh mozzarella overlini. Love so fresh mozzarella. Yeah, this is just a cow's milk mozzarella. Extra virgin olive oil for full press. This one's gonna get some fresh basil, some sea salt, thick cut applewood smoked bacon, and uh, we're gonna do some fresh garlic. Is this the crepe pizza? Yeah, crepe, so it's a big crowd pleaser. We finish it with a nice uh, aged Modena balsamic, so it's very sweet, very savory as well. And we're gonna make our traditional marinara pizza. And this is very light application. Neapolitan pizza is always gonna be lightly topped. Nothing should overpower anything else. That's your, your marinara. Looks like nothing, but it's the most flavorful pizza I've ever had. You know, normal pizza makes, makes you feel heavy or full. Not this. No stuffed crust? No. <laughs> My employees will try stuff like that, and I, uh, you know, I have to lay them off for a little bit. When well, they it's do against that. the law. That's right, that's right. We, we put them in jail for a while. <laughs> Got our fresh ovalini, a fresh basil, sea salt, olive oil. I'm just gonna grab a little Pecorino Romano. This is our margarita pizza. That is gorgeous. Eric. I know. Oh. They're ready to go in the oven, so. I love it. Oh my goodness. Those are beautiful. So that's our oh. crepa, our marinara, and of course our margarita. 1,000 degrees at 37 seconds. Absolutely. Works of art. I mean, everything is just so beautiful. It's, uh, you know, just looking at a piece of history for me and, and really uh, appreciating where it's from. And I'm honored to be a part to extend that to others.